Quartz crystal microbalance with dissipation monitoring, that is QCMD, is acoustic-based surface-sensitive technique that measures real-time nanoscale mass and viscoelasticity changes at interfaces as a result of molecular interaction or reaction. This technique is non-invasive and label-free. The heart of the technology is the quartz sensor. A quartz sensor is a quartz disc that is sandwiched between two metal electrodes. Quartz is piezoelectric. That has a special property. When appropriate voltage is applied across a quartz sensor, it starts to oscillate at its resonance frequency. And the sensor oscillation is affected by the amount as well as the viscoelastic properties of the adhered mass and the fluid on the top. The viscoelasticity of the adhered mass induces energy dissipation to the oscillation, which is measured as the parameter D in QCMD. I have a movie here to explain the QCMD technology. I will narrate through the movie while it plays. So changes in oscillation frequencies related to the adsorbed mass. Frequency decreases when mass adsorbs onto the surface. And the dissipation parameter is uh, related to the structural property and it is calculated from the oscillation decay curve when the power is turned off. A softer layer will result in high dissipation value. And here is an example of F and D responses upon binding of molecular layers. The left axis represents frequency shift and right axis represents dissipation shift. Blue is uh, frequency and orange curve is dissipation. So when molecule adsorbs, frequency goes down. This molecular layer in this case wasn't that uh, soft, so dissipation is only slightly high. In this example, the second layer formed more soft or viscoelastic layer. And you can see the dissipation curve going uh, high, with significantly high values and associated frequency curve goes down representing high mass addition as well. In this case, the second layer was reversibly bound, which was washed off in buffer. So you can see uh, frequency going up and dissipation is also going down to the first adsorbed layer. So you can continue with addition of further layers by subsequently adding the respective solution in the same experiment and monitor their adsorption in real time. There are various surface phenomena that can be studied using QCMD while they happen. For example, adsorption or desorption of molecules such as proteins, lipid, carbohydrates, and polymers, binding or interaction of molecules either with the surface or with the other molecular layer, cross-linking within an adsorbed film, swelling and collapse of a film, degradation or etching of the surface. <laughs> 